All right, so now that we're back from math, let's do problem number two. So the first one, remember, was adding. Now we're subtracting. So we have 9 and 1 third minus 4 and 1 sixth. Six, excuse me. So same thing. We always start with the fraction part of our mixed number. Then we do the whole number. So our fractions, we have 1 third minus 1 sixth. So the first step, before we can do anything, we always have to find that LCD, the least common denominator. But we have a 3 and a 6. So our least common denominator is a 6. Exactly. So I'm going to, since 1 6 already has 6 as a denominator, I'm going to just bring it down here. Actually, let me, I'll use um, blue like I did over here. So I'm just going to bring it down. However, 1 third I need to do something to that in order to make it to where the denominator is 6. So if I want to turn my 3 into a 6, I have to multiply it by 2. Whatever I do to the denominator, I have to do to the numerator. So I'm also going to multiply that by 2. So if I take 1 and I multiply it by 2, I get 2. 3 times 2 is 6. Now, fifth grade, can I do 2 6 minus 1 6? I can. So if I take 2 6 minus 1 6, I get 1 6. Now, am I done? Is that it? No. What do I still need to do? I still need to do my whole numbers. So that means I am taking 1, or yes, I still need to subtract my whole numbers. So I still need to do 9 minus 4. Show me on your hand. What is 9 minus 4? Show me on your hand. 9 minus 4 is 5. And then I bring my 1 sixth over for 5 and 1 sixth. All right, fifth grade. I want you to close your eyes for me. Yep, close your eyes for me again. So we did these two practice problems. A lot of you either had me or someone else kind of helping you through some of the trickier steps. Close your eyes. Show me your hand, 1 through 5, how are you feeling about adding and subtracting mixed numbers? Alright, still waiting for a number from a few people. Guys, show me a number. Okay, okay. Will, please show me, please. Alright, hands down. Okay, hands down. Alright. So fifth grade, your homework for today is going to be to play Prodigy. Um, I am going to be going into Prodigy this afternoon and aligning it to where you're getting some more practice with mixed numbers. So you will be able to get that done. Yes, sir? Um, yeah. let me think about it, okay? Because I know some of you have a basketball game, so it might be a little harder for you to complete it. Mm -hmm. I'll think about it, okay? Well, it's the reason why we didn't have, like, come with in the math or put in the version that page for that. There is a page for it. It just, um, it's a little more complicated than just two mixed numbers. I don't think as a class we're, we're ready to move on to three mixed numbers in a problem yet. So we're going to get a little bit more practice with two. Then we're going to move on to doing three, okay? Yes, we can do Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Um, hey, eyes on me for a second. All eyes on me for a second. Multiplying and dividing fractions and mixed numbers is easier than adding and subtracting. What? What? Raise your hand if you can guess why. Why would it be easier? Allison, why do you think? You don't need to find a what when you're multiplying and dividing. Michael? No, not a whole number. Chanel? You don't need to have the same denominator in order to multiply and divide. So I'm always, I always get really excited when we multiply and divide fractions because I think it's actually easier to add. We'll get into it. Don't worry. We're not, well, we're not doing that yet. So for homework tonight, you will have 20 minutes of Prodigy, um, and you'll be practicing this, exactly this. Okay, nice work. Please take out, you know what I mean.
I'm waiting for voices to be asked. I would like you to please take out your wonder book. 